You slept until the night. It is now night. So we're probably, we were at like 40 before, so that topped us off. Hacking is at 50. Oh, you know what? You climb. Actually, it's not a, that's not bad. I don't mind getting my climbing up that way. I want to go see if we can talk to this guy finally. This fascinating guy that everybody's been talking about. Volksville, there sit down where the girls are all. As you begin to speak. Okay. I would have bought you around. I'm relatively moneyed at the moment. Walking into the bar, you see the usual drunks. The old man standing at the bar, who you've not seen around before, shouts to the room. Here we go. I have returned. Japsworth. And he looks like that, uh, that guy. No shit, Japsworth. You've been sitting there drinking <laughs> for an hour. We didn't realize you'd left. <laughs> I was gone from this cursed land for six months this time. It's like you never left. Thanks, Will Forte. I only came back. So on you, good people. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Scott for you on, lads. You know it to be true. Tell us again about the ghost, Martin. Oh. Just a moment. Kit. Whiskey. Whiskey? Are you mad? Do you remember last time? If I'm going to be talking, I'll be needing it. Coin first, Martin. You know the rules. Can I buy you a drink, Martin? The old guy really reeks. Hey there, young fella. What's the good word? Hello there, stranger. I'm Martin Japsworth. Professional adventurer, professional right? adventurer and all-around man of intrigue and mystery. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Rowan. Pleased to meet you. It's always a cold night in Volksville, ever since the day. You don't know of the curse of the Killingtons? I'd like to know more about that. Well, son, if you buy me a drink, I'll tell you a story of such hey, tragedy, such despair, such mystery. You won't be sorry, I promise. It's the guy that trapped his family in the burning house, right? Uh, sure. Well, I won't say no to a whiskey if you're buying. <laughs> well, boy, this starts over 50 years ago, when I was just a young boy. My father, God rest his soul, was the butler and caretaker of the Killington family for years. And for years, the Killington family was good, happy, and prosperous. They were the richest people in Volksville. Borgovs. Old Jarvis Killington had made good money in shipping and trade, and he built his family the largest and finest mansion just outside the town of Volksville. In the town, he helped develop Killington Square, built all the posh homes there, and fixed up the big fancy bank. It actually was the heartbeat of the town, sponsoring all kinds of fairs and events. He was a good man, man. and my family prospered along with them. Hmm. Feel a butt we coming lived on. in a small cottage just outside the main mansion. My father loved the Killingtons like they were his own. It's nice. Jarvis, however, got a bit of wanderlust as he got older, and the riches grew. He wanted a new challenge, so he took up travel and adventuring. Maybe that's where you got the bug. He used to leave for months at a time, and always returned with some new exotic trinket from far-off lands. And the tales he told, <laughs> they kept this young boy on his toes. He came back energized after each trip, except for his last. 
Uh, there's so much more. You've been to I could remember some place it, called Mordavia. Alas, my drink is empty. Ugh. Fine. I can most sit. Don't fall for his crap. You're just fresh blood for him to babble to and get free drinks from. I don't know. I'm kind of engrossed. Shut up, Olaf. Your wife smells like cow manure. It's quite the uh, comeback. That's because I smell like cow manure, and we sleep together. Where was that recorded? Ah, uh, point conceded. Point conceded, old chum. Me you made you look like a fool on that one, Japsworth. Fine. Well, I won't... Oh, when he came home from his last trip, something was different and wrong. He looked drawn and pale, and the treasure he came home with, well, uh, well it, was, it was kind of weird. He, he called it the Eye of Jaeger, and he seemed obsessed with it. He'd stay up in his room for days with it, never leaving. His whole family became concerned, and when he would come out, He'd ramble incoherently about many different arcane things, stuff best not spoken of. Hmm. I heard some once, and it was like listening to something from the depths of hell. He was going mad. My father was very scared for him. I was scared. Life with the Killingtons was all I knew. It got so bad that his eldest son and heir, Jarvis Jr., left the home, saying he couldn't live with a demon-possessed and a jewel-obsessed man. No one knows what happened to Jarvis Jr. either. It was said he went up north to the Kingdom of Yara to start anew, but no one's heard or seen from him since. Things got worse for the poor Killington family after Jarvis Jr. left, oh. and more odd things occurred. I remember it well, but uh, I would remember it better with a refill on my whiskey. How much is each of these costing me? I could most doubt for ask up. Something had a hold on him. It wasn't good. We should talk some more over a drink. Fine. Well, I won't say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, see, my father was so loyal that he wouldn't leave. Even when Jarvis started looking like a living skeleton. Drink slower this time. His whole family took sick. My father took sick too, but he'd never show it. He was too proud. Huh. The house fell into disarray. Jarvis wandered the halls, screaming like a madman. His wife and daughters took to hiding in the study and locking the doors. There was madness there, and whispers of the strange gem he brought home. Whoa. I was little, but I heard. I heard about the gem, how it had no equal, how it was priceless, and they called it the Eye of Jaeger. Though it was the, the final act that... Uh, uh, really threw a wrench into my life. Uh, 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 the fire. Uh, the horror. Uh, the, the horror. His eyes trail off as if lost in his mouth. <laughs> The fire? It... It took the whole family. Oh. All of them. Burned alive. Locked in the house. And my father tried to save them, but... The flames were too great. The last thing he saw was... The insane smile of Jarvis Killington. Damn. I don't think I can drink enough to forget the screams. Wow. So what... Did you come to warn us about, though? Thought you were. I make. Well, I. So oh, yes, all that, all that happened, and it was terrible. But did I ever tell oh. you about the time I fought the bulls in the Colosseum of Narsica? I thought you had. Well, uh, 
Uh, no, you definitely have not. Well, <laughs> Sonny. Oh, no. You are in for a story. Uh, when I left this godforsaken place, I used my powers I gained from the grimoire I stole from Jarvis to magically be able to beat bulls. Beating bulls is a magical power. Its power comes from beating bulls. So you have to beat bulls to be able to beat bulls. <laughs> you see what I mean? No. It's like it's like a circular power. It's amazing. It's just like you. You're like the best man ever. Uh, I hear you beat bulls too. <laughs> we should start a team. Uh describe the beginning of every classic success story. I killed Gorth and an apple picker for ignoring me. Good old stories. Well, so yeah, it's but well, there you go. Woo. It was great talking with you. How much money did I burn on that man? It's a leather you have some blight. I don't know how much I had going into it. Well, that was fun. What do you think of him, kid? He's mostly harmless. Staggers in here every so often. Rambles on about the Killington curse, treasures, ghosts, and his father. Try not to get him too hey, drunk, Brit. even if he is entertaining you. Uh, I think that ship sailed. It's bought him like five whiskeys. Goodbye. Hey. Wait a minute. Any news uh, about that? Not too much. Uh, okay. Nothing new. We gotta go back to the brigand side out. Hey. Gotta go see that talking bear again. Leave Basel. All right. Well, that was. Hey. Oh, <gasps> it's Kiana from the crazy, uh, the crazy cult people. Hi, <laughs> strange lady, standing in the dark at night. You're not suspicious or anything. <laughs> Please, I'm as harmless as a fly. If I wanted to hurt you, I'd have done it by now. I suppose so. If you wanted to hurt me, you'd tell me we were somehow related. <laughs> well, we're not. But we do have something in common. Yeah? What's that? Well, we both know something about the curse of the Killington family. Oh, the plot thickens. What? That story old Jatsworth is raving on about. That's hogwash. Did you buy him five whiskeys too? Not necessarily. There is much truth in what he says. That there was a mansion in it burned down. I saw that with my own eyes. Yeah. Yes, that, and there really is such a gem known as the Eye of Yaga. That makes everyone crazy. Really? Is it in a museum? No, it's lost. As lost as the entire Killington clan. I don't know, that one son got away, they said, and went north. Lost, eh? Yes, lost. But perhaps not gone. Mysterious. So why should I care? A gem like that is beyond value. I think someone like you might be interested in that. Belongs in a museum. Yeah, then I assume someone found it long ago. No, it's been missing since the mansion, and all of the Killingtons inside of it burned to the ground. Lovely. You know now I'm going to dream about fires, gems, and a burning family. Remind me to thank you and Japsworth sometime. Yeah. Don't dream of that. Just think about it. You could recover something like that and slip away quietly. Why are you telling me? Yeah, so why are you offering me any kind of help? Yeah. I noticed you the other day at the town gates. You seemed like someone who could pull off something like this. And yes, it will benefit me if you do. But I will tell you of that later. Putting like a Katrina vibe on me, Kayana? Of course you will. She slides her arms back, and the cloak that covers her opens a little, revealing a little of the skimpy outfit beneath. She's trying to play us like a fiddle. Whoa, whoa there, kitten. I appreciate the thought, but it's not doing a thing for me believe in a story about some stupid gem. <laughs> Look, I'll be back tomorrow. Why don't you go do a little research on what I've been talking about? The Killingtons, the Eye, etc. And we can discuss things another night. Well, I do need to go to the library and, uh, tear. Well, I suppose. If you're buying a drink. Just be here. I'd recommend starting at the library of Tear. Yeah, everyone's telling me to go there. 
Okay, that sounds logical. And for a token of my gratitude in this matter, here's 50 blies. That's not a big deal. Well, I can't turn down a pretty lady paying me, can I? Yeah, you can. If all goes well, there will be plenty more from us. The cult people? Now, when you go looking, keep this word in mind. Sentai. Sentai. Sentai? What? That might be the code word at the bottom of the, uh... No, Sentai. Trust me. Well, I have to say this has been interesting, Miss, uh... Just call me Kayana. Okay. Absolutely. Good night, Miss Kayana. Kind of thought she'd cast a spell. Well, I'll just stay in town a few days. Wait till they fix the bridge. Catch a ship. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I'm in deep now. Little diehard reference there. I'm talking to myself. Come on out to LA. Have a few laughs. Love it. All right, we have a busy night ahead of us. Let's make the most of it. You climb over the town gate. Deftly. There's that guy's head. Whoa! It's the severed head of Marcus Van Houten. Sadly, it doesn't look too good separated from his body. It's holding up pretty well, for what it's worth. Yeah, yeah the music is... What? This is awkward. Look, I can't stay long. It's getting too dangerous. We just saw each other. For who? For us both. Look, you need to find someone related to the Killingtons to find out anything about the Eye. So the oldest son. Yeah, so how do I do that? They kept really good records in Tyr. Try the library. Remember, you promised to help. Yeah, and you gave me five minutes before you started nagging me about it. Who said I keep my promises? I do. She flashes a charming smile at you. Damn, she's right, you know. <laughs> also, visit Hermit Homestead. I think that someone there might know what happened to Jarvis Killington Jr. after he left the manor. The older man, yeah, we need to get him something from the swamp before he's going to tell us anything. It's all setting up. Right. I have to go now. I'll contact you later. Probably. I'll call you. <laughs> In her uh, mind, probably means we'll see her on the next screen. All right. So we haven't traveled. There we go. There's our fireflies. Brilliant. Oh, but we need. We need the fancy stuff, don't we? To attract them. He said we'd find it on a log in the Northwoods, I think. The, f the fireflies seem to evade you. Right. All right, I'll be back. We got all night. I have to imagine there's gonna be enemies peeking out at night as well. Not exactly sure where the North Woods are. Oh, oh, okay. What have we stumbled upon now? You once fought a spectre for nearly an hour, oh. as it didn't hurt you as much, but it never seemed to die. Huh. Might need special powers to take down the spectre. You could feel some. We'll see. Damn it! Does the hack do anything? Damn it! Damn it! Oh yeah, no that that landed. It's vomiting poison all over us. That bastard is never gonna bother you again. Nice. Let's go through its pool of ooze. Searching the corpse Whoa. reveals some. All right. I know where Kiana got that money she paid me off with. North Woods. Wow, beautiful. These aren't the fireflies we're going for, but that's still 
Lovely. You enter this beautiful clearing, and you see some very odd trees at the end of the corridor blocking your path. You swear they could have faces. You begin to think that maybe Armin slipped you something in that notorious Jundarian weedy cells. <laughs> we didn't buy. Uh, are these going to pick me up Rosella style? I need the axe to swing that I couldn't pick up from that log. What the hell? <laughs> hey, let's not be around the bush here, kid. Cardagas. Oh my god. I can't believe you just said beat around the bush. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. Look, I wasn't trying to be funny or ironic. I was just talking to this kid. Hey, you, kid. You deaf for something? Uh. Yes. Got the other thing. He's to play in a band. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, kid. Very funny. Why are you calling me kid? Yeah. Cause compared to me, you are a kid. He's over 211 years old. Not to brag, but yeah, nice he's not. I made it over two centuries. That's he nice. the mouth on me, I'm surprised. Own it. Love that. <laughs> so, what the hell are you doing in our garden? Uh... Thought I'd take a piss in your... I mean, that is the Rome response. That stream is just our piss. We don't exactly oh. have toilets around here, you know. Oh, my comment's not nearly as funny now. <laughs> don't be mean to the kid. Look, kid, you seem all right, but we're very protective of our garden. And we don't like people abusing it. Appreciate that. Yeah, or walking through it. There's a small... I mean, we gotta get some tree piss, right? You put some water in your flask. Nice. Uh, I don't know if we should fill both these up. Can I, like, empty this? Whatever you're trying... Whatever... Whatever... There's nothing... Hold on, where's the one with water? Whatever you're... Tr you take a sip of water. Ah! Water! Nectar of the gods! Yes! You can feel water going down your throat. What else did you expect? I love the King's Quest V description of water, the grandiose oh, water. Life-giving nectar of the gods. Fantastic. That is a deep reference right there. I like that. Nice nod. Oh! I don't... guess those tree ants don't mess around. I don't like that. They rip you in two as easily as you would rip a piece of paper. They seem nice until, you know... You're, that really hurt. Right. Oh yeah, wood traveler. Nope. Yeah. See you later, talking trees. Well, some people call this the 99 Acre Woods. Others just call it the North Woods. The Killingtons used to call it their private forest. We call it home. Well, we can't all talk. Lodomir and I can. Everyone else is just too wooden. Wooden? Ha! <laughs> get it, kid? This is our clearing. If you want to get by, you gotta strike up a deal. What kind of deal? Well, I was hoping you'd ask. Me and Set Lodomir, them on fire. we're conservationists. We want to preserve the beauty of the woods. Yeah. But those ass clowns in the ass south clown? woods run that place like it's a lumber yard. There's a special kind of pine that only grows down there. We need you to bring us a pine cone from one of the trees down there so we can reseed it up here and ensure it doesn't disappear. I just happen to have a novelty sized pine cone in my pants right now, Car like Cardigus. Come back! Those ass clowns in the south. There it is! Sure glad I picked this up when I was wandering those. Southern Woods. Well, Radomir, would you look at this nice young man? I'm yep. nice. Fan of nature he is. Good conservationalist. <laughs> you hand the pine cone to Cardigas. Wow, my word. Have you ever seen anything so pretty? I'm just happy to get it out of my pants. Never! Well, time to do what it's time to do. And what would that be? Cardigas shoves the pine cone into his mouth and crunches. Oh, so good. <laughs> hey, you said you would share. 
<laughs> I forgot. Aw, that's mean. Ow. Oh. Deal's a deal, kid. We'll let you through now. We're gonna have a sleep and get this pine growing. Try not to disturb us for a few years. Okay. As long as I get to come through. Alright. Maybe we'll find that special wood up here. Or moss, sorry. Special wood. Whoa. You see some odd looking arches in the distance. Man. I know I keep saying it, but this map is very large. So many screens. It's like Skyrim. Climbing to the top of the, uh. It's not moss, but it is glowing. This is some kind of magic force field. Don't ask me how it works, but it keeps your ass out from beyond the arches. Uh, it's going through there. I gotcha. You're stopped by a mysterious. At least it's not killing me. I can clearly walk right around it, but. You notice the intricate runes here. They look like they can be moved. You decide to take a closer look at the runes. Anyone remember what that guy's name was earlier? I feel like I could spell his name with these symbols, but I don't know. Oh man, I don't know. Yes. Nothing happened. Nah, it's all right. It really does seem like I just walk around it. All right. So we'll have to come back once we figure out the symbols. Creepy. At all that's up here? Yeah. Hmm. yeah, the twilight. That looks like glowing moss. There must be a that doesn't. S you can't take it. Wait. See, there's a tree in your pants? You can't take it. There's already a tree in your pants. <laughs> Alright, someone thinks quite a bit of themselves. Uh, can we climb up on it? That does That doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, can we go around? There we go. You don't have the skill to climb this yet. You don't have. Nice. I love this. You don't have the. You don't. You, you, you don't. You, you Grind in some climbing. You don't have. You don't. 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 Grind the clock. All right, what do we think? Let's take some bets here. What are we putting the uh, required skill at? Over or under 45? I'll set it at 45. That's my guess. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. 50? Bully says 50. 44? You come. You can't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't it's not you don't 45. Have. We get 46 now. All right, I'm out. 48. 49. That's 50. Bully, crushing it. <laughs> well done. All right. It was anyone who took the over on that. Well done. <laughs> You bend down and scoop up some fungus directly into your jar. You now have a glowing jar. Yes. All right, now we can get ourselves some uh, fireflies. Watch, let's not have the skill to climb back down. All right. Where were those fireflies exactly? I think they were kind of like south of however I got to these woods in the first place.
They were like one screen south of here. No. Nah, I'm too far west right now. They were kind of east of the town, I think. North here is my old buddy. Swamp's gonna be north. Is that axe? I can't. There we go. Sign for the farm. Good memory. All right, so let's do it. You catch a bunch of fireflies inside the jar and quickly put it away. Excellent. <laughs> Swipe. I think we needed all those fireflies, but I guess it is pretty dark in the swamp. And this should lead us into the swamp. All right, yeah, Hobbs has gone home for the evening. What time is it? It's the middle of the night. Almost morning, actually, but yeah. All right, so in the next episode, we will enter the swamp and try to get the thing for, uh, I forget his name, but the, the older gentleman who's gonna give us more information on the family, the Killingtons. And we need to go to Tier. Got a whole bunch of things to do in the next episode. Got to go to that library. It's all heating up here in Quest for Infamy. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.